All right, so I promised a video and uh, I will show you how I personally solved the problem of mounting the Blackstone grill to the slide that held the original Coleman. Uh, so I have the 300 BHS, as you can see here in all her glory. And uh, well, obviously this is uh, much wider. So the first issue I had to overcome was the drawers and the pullout for the soap and scrubs and everything. So what I did was uh, I, if you look at yours, you have a lot of space left and right as this thing goes in. And I basically took out the middle piece here and I took out the piece that was sitting here. And I actually used the piece that was, it's a full length piece. I think it goes from here to here. And I took this piece cause it's much thinner and I cut it to size and I took this piece and I put this one and I put that one here because it was much thinner. So then it's finished on both sides. And then I moved the drawer as far as I could to just millimeters on each side. So it just barely fits in there. Um, I broke off those little little uh, plastic pieces a long time ago. Uh, but anyway, and then uh, I just removed the center of the, uh, the stopper there. And that's how I went there. I then had to cut this piece here all the way up and you can see you want to be careful when you're cutting with the sawzall because you will go right through it but uh, I just measured out what I needed for the slides and then I cut up and down right even to where the slides would be and you have to take all this stuff off so there's a screw right here and there's a screw right here there's that piece there and I'll talk about that piece in a minute but those just pull out of there. So you could just pull the slides right out. And um, the drawer slide, you've never taken those off. If you pull up here uh, or pull down, you'll feel it. And then pull those out. You just pull them and pull them out. They're a lot like a kitchen cabinet. Work the same way. But anyway, so I just cut these even to where I needed to be. And then I went and found <laughs> underneath the dinette uh, in the booth, there's a couple extra panels in there. Uh, you'll never see them. And I stole this finished piece of very thin wood and cut it to the size I need, which gave me a nice finished edge with all the paper and everything uh, to be able to put in there. And then you can mount your slide back to where you need to. So this piece is really thin. I think it's a half inch or something, but it gave me the perfect amount of coverage and then I was able to put everything back in there and it all uh, it all works out. So that is how I addressed the issues with the front to give me it's 18 and a half or 19 inches. I don't remember exactly what it ended up, but you need to clear this little fitting right here. And I think I think it makes it 19 inches. The last piece you do have to address is where this piece here is. And how I did this was I realized I moved this front cabinet drawer over, I think it was three quarters of an inch total or half an inch, whatever it was. And I knew I moved it over that much because the center stop piece here had to move three quarters of an inch over. So I knew that the drawer moved over that far, okay? I then unscrewed that piece in the back and re-drilled the two holes in the piece exactly three quarters of an inch over. And then I just screwed them back in the original holes. Um, I did have to push the heating vent over a little bit, but it all, it all worked out. The slide works without binding. And so uh, that, uh, that's basically uh, how I moved that all over. So then, the slide, this whole slide mechanism that everything's sitting on right now actually is held in by two screws here and two screws right there. That is it. Then all of this thing comes out. Uh, it's all this piece and the slide and all this mechanism here, this whole thing comes right out. So once I pulled that out, I just centered it, realizing about what I would need 
and I screwed it back in. Um, I just bought it the two front pieces here with the front and I just uh, I just put it right back right back in and um, so that for that secured the slide into the center of the slot for the grill all right so the last piece and um, so this is how I solved it I don't <laughs> you, you are more than welcome to come up with your own solution here but there are um, a, there's uh, originally they give you uh, screws here to mount the feet to your Blackstone. And I went and I cut out those screws, okay? And uh, I took a three, three, uh, three foot piece of metal and I found and measured out exactly where the holes needed to be. And I drilled here and here, okay? And you, yeah, so then I, I drilled out and I, put in, I mounted the, the metal because I then had to create a bracket here. And I, you can even see, I, I grabbed the stopper, the feet and used it as a little bit of padding because it was the perfect height to put in there and space up because what you have to do is clear this here. And so that is actually how I solved the problem. And then I took a bracket and just screwed the bracket to the frame, screwed the bracket to the frame, screwed the bracket to the frame. You can see it. I mean, it's, it does rub just a little bit as it gets into the very back, but um, yeah, it, uh, it slides in nicely and uh, it's mounted, it's not going anywhere. Um, and I'll be able to uh, use that without any problems. So good luck, um, it's a little long. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. I was hoping to keep it to about five minutes, but um, there was uh, there's a lot of pieces and parts. I thought I would show how I solved the problem. And if you have any questions, go ahead and post them in the comments and uh, I'll do my best to answer them. All right. We'll talk to you later, guys. RV American Dream. Enjoy.